All right, gonna go to a movie over here at the Regal, and uh, this one I saw the trailer for it many times. It uh, it is Napoleon, about that guy who uh was good at war and stuff, and uh, yeah, and it stars the Joker, <laughs> uh, Joaquin Phoenix, you know. So I'm sure it's gonna be great. I think this is a Ridley Scott movie. But anyway, yeah, so the trailer looks pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, when I, when I get back out to the car, I'll tell you I thought about it. I go to the movies. Who would have thought? So here's my opinions. My opinions don't matter. Your opinions don't matter. What? We just put our opinions on the internet. It's what we do as a culture. No one knows why we do it, but we can't seem to stop. So for what it's worth, I'm the Joshua Lukoku, and these are mine. Napoleon, starring the Joaquin Phoenix. He is the Joker, also, amongst other things. He's a good actor. He was in Bo is Not Afraid. That was a good movie. Came out this past year. Um, Yeah, so this is a, a biopic. You know, it's a movie about a real life human being. And he was, this was like a long time ago. Back when everybody still used cannons and rode around on horses during the war. So this was, uh, this was like before World War One. It's like the fallout of the French Revolution. That sort of thing, I think. And, uh, all that sort of stuff. So, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. So the movie, it like, you get the idea that he's a little bit weird. He's a little bit... He's a little bit of a weirdo. He's a little eccentric. Uh, he's really good at war. Is his thing. And uh, <clears throat> so. He meets this. This lady. She's like real important to him. You know. And the movie is uh, more about their relationship. Than I would have thought. I didn't really know anything about him. Other than he's like. A guy that went around trying to conquer the world. <laughs> it seemed like. At least that's what I, I got from it in school. This movie depicts it a little bit different. Where he's like, I never waged war. I never started a war. Is the thing he kept, he said there for a while. Which I think changed near the end there. But. So. Yeah. So. It's kind of interesting. With the. He, uh. You know, it shows him going down to Egypt. And, you know, he goes. Or does all that sort of thing, and then <laughs> he goes to the. And he has he has this battle with Russia, which is famous because it was in the winter, and he's like, oh. It was like a, his first defeat, basically. Spoilers. I mean, it is a historic. I mean, it's all history. <coughs> <coughs> well, like I say, but so. The acting is obviously great. The battles, they looked really cool. You know, it was a big scale. I mean, it seemed like there's a lot of actual stuff going on. But CG is so good these days. You know, it's kind of hard to tell. But it looked like there's a lot of actual people on a field situation. That sort of thing. But, uh, yeah. And a lot of really cool shots. You know, good cinematographies and stuff like that. That was pretty good. So yeah, it's like there's this whole thing about how he's always writing letters to this lady. <laughs> Josephine. You know, they have their marital troubles, but they're really in love. That sort of thing. That's kind of weird because it's like... Everybody accuses him of being power-hungry and ambitious... And like the whole movie, he's like, it's almost like he keeps falling into everything. <laughs> like people keep asking him to do stuff. And he's like, ah, oh, fine. <laughs> eh, so I don't know if that's true or not. But, but uh, yeah, so. <coughs> um, I, well, I mean. What else can I, I mean? The acting is really great. 
and the cinematography is great, and the battle scenes were real cool. I, I mean, I, I assume it's pretty accurate. I don't know. If this is like a Ridley Scott movie, I don't know that he'd be one to like really embellish on a historical drama or action drama sort of thing. But you never know. And this is so far back that I don't really, I mean, it's kind of out of my my knowledge of what's going on. I mean, I know that I know about Napoleon and how it happened. I mean, honestly, most of what I know about Napoleon is from Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. <laughs> so, but this isn't this isn't uh, about that, you know. That 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 character is more of a goof, and uh, this this movie is a serious take on the subject matter. And this is not the prequel to Napoleon Dynamite, so. <laughs> Yeah, but, I mean, it, it really is a good movie. It's it's kind of long, you know, it is a longer movie. Uh, but a lot of interesting stuff kept happening, so I was like, I was down with it, you know. I didn't fall asleep or nothing. So, yeah, Napoleon, it's pretty good. Napoleon, I'm throwing those first thoughts and opinions up on the thoughts and opinions pile, you know. That'll be uh, buried by everybody else's thoughts and opinions shortly. Um... Go ahead and tell me your thoughts and opinions, you know, put them in the comment section. Like, subscribe, ring the notification bell, all that good stuff. Don't forget to feed your cat. And, uh, you know, uh, just admit your mistakes. <laughs>